Good morning. It is still very early. We are at the airport and we are about to spend the next eight hours flying Air France business class between Papete, Tahiti, and Los Angeles. These flights should have cost over $5,000, but thanks to miles and points, they only cost $270 in taxes and fees. I love getting to board big planes from the ground. In this video, we'll be explaining how you can also use miles and points to book this flight for super cheap, and we'll give you a full review of our first ever Air France business class flight. Us. Oh. We got a free pass into this lounge. Technically, we're boarding. He says he'll make a call though. I'm gonna have myself a coffee. Lots of free food and drinks. Unfortunately, we don't have any time to avoid it. Security took too long. Such a good view of the planes we have though. So, on our last business class flight, we developed a 100 point rating system that we tried out for the first time. I feel like it got a little long. I feel like we've learned from our mistakes. All right, we are boarding. I think that may actually be the least amount of time we've ever had between security and boarding the plane. And uh, that check-in got a two out of ten. <laughs> wow. First impressions, I love it. <laughs> Not a bad view on the runway. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, I, I got a little impatient. <laughs> How is the French champagne? Oh. Ah, the French champagne. Okay, now that we're up in the air, I'll show you around our seat. It's kind of confusing. We're definitely on an older plane, and majority of the seat feels pretty old, but they've updated a handful of things. For example, the remote. This looks very new. It's shiny, it's touchscreen, and then the cord might not be new. <laughs> the seat itself is new. It feels very nice. It's squishy. Compared to the Air New Zealand plane, we have so much more privacy. It's actually the complete opposite. The seats are facing in, and there was a privacy screen here that Nate may or may not have broken off. Do you think it's supposed to come off like that? So if you don't know your neighbor and you're in the middle aisle, you don't have to look at them. The television gives me Windows 95 vibes. It actually reminds me of computer class in high school. <laughs> yeah, so right now they're flat, but if you hit the button firmly, yeah. It's quite a big screen and it's a screen. Whoa. This is kind of fun. I don't think I've ever had this many options. I haven't really found a movie that I'm super excited about yet. Thankfully there is Wi-Fi so I can look at the ratings. The Wi-Fi is free if you're just texting but you have to pay 8 euros if you want to surf. I didn't even know we still said that. There's a very nice cubby. Which I'm currently using for all my electronics. There's a mirror, tons of room, and then these little like flappy things. Memorize the inside of that really well. What would you <laughs> do it without looking? Haven't tried out these yet. They feel very lightweight. Now that we've broken two things on the plane. <laughs> oh, always cancellation headphone. They're comfy though. There's a nice little footwell right here. Seat controls. Oh, I didn't even see they provided a water bottle. No label. We also have a really squishy pillow and a blanket and a mini kit. Cute little bag. Not as eco-friendly as Air New Zealand. It says Air France on the inside. Earplugs. Eye mask. Oh, that's nice. Socks. <gasps> Hand and nail treatment cream. It smells like a freshly cut flower. <laughs> Moisturizer, moisturizes and quenches. Maybe this one's for your face. Do not put on skin. <laughs> Toothbrush, toothpaste, and an Air France pen. Love it. I have some updates. One, Air France, when I asked for another water, she just refilled the water bottle that I already used. That's never happened to me on a plane before. So great. And these are the best crackers I've ever had in my entire life. I'm gonna have to get another box. I decided on Unbroken. Very intense. It's a true story. So I've already uh, needed to take a few deep breaths. <laughs> Only five minutes in. Anyone else watch the same movie on airplanes? <laughs> So 
even though it's only 9.30 a.m., they're serving lunch instead of breakfast because they're going off of L.A. time instead of Tahiti time, which I really appreciate. I really can't think of a single airplane breakfast that I've actually enjoyed. I feel like it's usually weird scrambled eggs with bad fruit. Believe it or not, this tray is only the appetizers. Beautifully plated. We have this bowl of greens, lots of arugula. My five. Goji berries. I don't know why little mini things just made me really happy. She came around with a fresh cracked black, freshly cracked black pepper grinder. Peppered the whole thing, which makes a huge difference. A baguette because Air France. <laughs> okay, with some butter. And then the main event on the starter plate is a whole bunch of fish because we forgot to order the vegetarian menu this time. <laughs> on the right, we have tuna terrine and curry shrimp. And on the left, we have scallops with pickled vegetables on asparagus mousse. The cutlery is hefty and I appreciate that it all has the Air France logo on the bottom. I've actually heard really good things about the food on Air France and the appetizers did not disappoint. The veggies with this asparagus mousse was really good. <laughs> This movie is so intense. For a spinach cannelloni flavored with truffle tomato sauce. I'm very impressed with Air France's presentation. They even got the zucchini into a flower shape. I needed to watch something lighthearted after that intense movie. Yes, Theory's video about paying a cab driver $10,000 is so heartwarming. It's exactly what I needed. No way. They have a drink bar set up. Self-serve. Anyone from business class can just come up here, pour themselves a drink. There's champagne, Coca-Cola, water. There's even snacks. Bathroom tour. The closest toilet to my seat is the handicapped restroom, so it's clearly nice and spacious. These oils smell Fabulous. There are lots of mirrors and the faucet is taped to the wall. That's about it. Totally taking one of these chocolates. Ooh, that looks good. Best shop I've ever had in my life. Needs espresso. All right, for dinner we have been served with their Italian light snack, a bowl of fruit, mystery bread, chicken, feta, grapes. Eight hours later, we have landed in LA. From here, we still have to make our way to Nashville. We still have a couple travel hacks between here and there. Plus, we still have to write there, France White, so don't go away. No way. The priority tag actually works. Air's bag is one of the first off the carousel. 10 points for Air France. Good morning from LAX. We still have one more flight to get home to Nashville. But before we get on that flight and before we give you our full review of Air France Business Class, we have a really fun travel hack to share with you that we actually used ourselves last night. So after arriving in Los Angeles, we did our global entry interview on arrival. For those of you who don't know what global entry is, it's basically fast track through customs when you're coming back into the US. So instead of waiting in a long customs line, you get to use this little kiosk and you're through customs in less than five minutes. You usually have to pay for it, but we got it for Free. So I used the Capital One Venture X card to pay for my global entry and we used the Chase Sapphire Preferred card to pay for Kara's global entry. Normally global entry costs $100, but both of these cards reimburse your global entry fee. So you just pay for it using the card and then the credit card company wipes it out and so it's free. Also, it is really hard to get a global entry interview, but they have what's called global entry on arrival. So when you're coming back from an international trip, you can actually do the interview at the airport without an appointment. So that's what we did last night. <laughs> before we get to why we're laughing. It was a little challenging to find, but basically you just go through customs like you normally would and you grab your bag, but right before you exit, there's a little desk where you can do your hand. And if you've traveled to a lot of countries in the last few years, like we have, maybe brush up on some of your past travels. Pro tip there, they may ask you about trips that were five plus years ago. Kara said, that Obama was the president of the United States when she visited a country. Obama has not been the president In for a long time. <laughs> it was very humorous. We got a lot of questions wrong, but we both got approved. Yeah, within like the hour, we had an email that we were approved. Super email, easy, yeah. super, super okay. easy. So if you're coming back from an international trip and you don't already have global entry, I would highly recommend doing the interview on arrival and using a credit card that reimburses the global entry fee. Okay. Air France, we have not talked about this. Just a little prerequisite. I want it to just 
be thoroughly known. Any business class seat is a million times better than an economy class seat. And we are so happy. Regardless. <laughs> we just think it's fun to be slightly critical because we've gotten to try out a lot of different business classes and we're very, very grateful. Let's check in. Nothing uh, special. Two of 10. Yeah. I think our flight is boarding and we are still waiting in line at security. But I think, again, that says more about the Papete Airport than Air France Business Class. True. Like, if we would have been checking in in Paris, I'm sure it would have been a lot better experience. The lounge. You're the only one that went to the lounge. I would give the lounge overall a 6 out of 10. Like, okay. it really had all the things that I care about, which is food, drinks. There's actually a shower as well. Great views. The food was just, like, not the best looking. But it was a self-serve bar. They do announcements, which is so great when you're trying to optimize every second possible in the lounge. Okay, okay. We bumped it up to a seven. Uh, seat. I think I'd also give it a seven. That's an eight. Mine was just literally falling apart. And okay. then at the end, okay, it's a seven. when it was time to go back into normal seat mode, I was holding down the button and it was just going, <laughs> rrr, 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 like it was stuck. The flight attendant had to play with it for like 10 minutes to get it to close. So, seven, I feel like it's pretty generous. Okay. Bed. I give it an eight. I slept great. <laughs> <laughs> there was no like foam pad laid on top of it, so if I was sleeping for a whole night. Or bedding. Like they just gave you that little But coil. maybe it's because it was a daytime flight. True. For a nap, I give it an eight. Food. I mean, this is our fault. We didn't order the vegan meal, and there was literally zero options. It was good though. I think the food deserves an eight. The okay. food was really nice. Drinks. Cheers. Drinks were great. Love from champagne. That's all I had. Uh, oh, the espresso too. Not all flights yeah. have real espresso. Pure espresso, it's like real coffee. So I got two of those. All right, drinks get a nine. A minute to get maybe like an eight. Yeah. There were no slippers. Yeah, you I didn't get think slippers it was anything. There was no chapstick. Six. Six. Wow. Yeah, it was Ruthless fine. over here. I didn't think the bag was very pretty. Staff. They didn't do anything wrong. They weren't overly nice. I didn't ever feel like super special. I think like it's in it was pretty nice. Like she just had zero. Like, okay, six. When I asked for a vegetarian oh. option, she looked at me like, I. Right. Yeah, that's fair. They're Bathroom. Fine. I mean, the handicapped one was nice. It had the oils, but the regular one was just so basic. Seven. Yeah. The tape. Six. Awesome. Six. 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 Entertainment. There were a lot of French movies. Mm -hmm. And you had to pay for Wi-Fi. I mean, is there a France? <laughs> Fair enough. There weren't a lot of Hollywood movies. Most international carriers still have a large selection True. of Hollywood movies. Unbroken is the best movie that's ever been made. But it's still a movie from 2014. And I'm so happy that someone made a movie about that sweet man. And you had to pay for Wi-Fi in business class. I'm giving the entertainment a four. But that has nothing to do with Unbroken. Okay, seriously, let us know in the comments below if this is helpful, if you enjoy kind of like hearing our afterthoughts, because I feel like this rating system is totally flawed. This is not a true rating of air freight. Attention the terminal, looking for passenger key. Come on, key. Ready for the total? You we have. You want to try it in your head this time? No. Two plus seven. And the grand total. Oh, wow. 63. Less positive than I thought we were. But that's the thing, like this flight, if I just was rating it, it was 10 on 10. That's how I felt. You know, like I was fed, I watched a movie, I drank champagne, I was treated nicely. We like, were across the Atlantic in eight hours and it was comfortable the whole time. It was actually one of the easiest travel days we've ever had. Highly recommend Air France even though it only scored a 63. I'm while, starving, will what, you talk quicker? What, while we're sitting here, we are actually using one more travel hack on the way home. We're using the Southwest Companion Pass. That's right. So we booked a direct flight from LA to Nashville using the Southwest Companion Pass. So we say four hundred dollars. Yeah, we booked my seat, and then Nate's my companion. His seat was. Kara got the Southwest Companion Pass by signing up for a card earlier this year. We made a whole video about that. It's not available now, but one more reason to sign up for the Daily Drop newsletter because anytime there are opportunities like this, we'll let you know in the email, or maybe make a video about it here on the YouTube channel so you can subscribe here as well. Um, I'm so hungry. Let's go to the lounge. Okay, Kara needs to eat before she gets on this flight. <laughs> It's me again with some great news before we get to the bloopers. If you want to fly Air France business class but don't have five grand lying around, booking Air France flights using points could not be easier. Air France is a transfer partner with every major card provider, so you can literally just earn credit card points on a credit card, transfer those points to the Air France loyalty program Flying Blue, and book business class seats like the one that you just saw using points. Plus, Air France has incredible Flying Blue promos which allow you to fly across the Atlantic for less than 12,000 points in economy. And we're making a whole video on that exact topic, so be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more. Okay, now for the bloopers. Hello, this is Mayor Karen Bass. Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. 
That was very nice of Sharon. <laughs> so, Attention in the terminal, flight 2248 with services to Reno. Our practice is currently boarding at this time. So we still have one more. 